Right, um, this is a kettlebell only workout. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do this with a uh, dumbbell or any weight at all. Um, you can nearly do it body weight. You could do it body weight if you want. So, we have lunges, wall sit, split squat or pulse squat, and up down plank. So, you're going to do each of them twice 25 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. One round is about four and a half minutes, uh, rest 30 seconds. I'm going to do three rounds, be 15 minutes. So again, if you want to make this harder, you either lift a heavier weight or you can do it a bit longer, okay? Once you have the movements and stuff, all you need is a timer. You can set it up yourself. So I am going to press play. We'll be starting off with lunges in five, three, two, one. And away we go. So you can hold the kettlebell whatever way you suit. You. Now, when you're doing this, this is mainly focused on the lower body, but a bit of core in there as well. Uh, we have up-down plank at the end. But we're lunging. You can go forward or back. It's up to yourself. And again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do it with a uh, dumbbell at its top. So, two, one, and rest. Good, so we have 10 seconds rest. Do that again. Not the most intense workout, this. A little bit more strength-based but it's still a good workout to get in. A good bit of lower body stuff and it. Legs will be burning after this. And again, if it's not hard enough for you, you just go with a heavier weight or else you go with um, longer duration. Okay, it's 25 seconds. That's what I'm doing. 10 seconds rest. But again, you don't have to. So resting now and we're going into the wall sit. In five, three, two, one, and away we go. For this, you want your hips parallel with your knees as well. But back flat against the wall and drive your heels into the floor. Tightens up the quads. If you want, you can hold your weight as well. It's up to yourself. But in our 10 seconds, I can feel my quads burning. And rest, good, shake out the legs. But we are going for wall sit again. Three, two, one, and away we go. Again, I'm driving my heels into the floor, tightening my quads, back is flat against the wall, and my hips are the same height as my knees. So I'm not sitting up really high, otherwise you're not working the legs at all. Again, if you want, you can carry the weight as well, make it a little bit harder. But for today, I'm not going to do that. There there, number five, three, two, and we're off the wall. Good. Next one is picking up your weight again, going into a pulse squat. So you're going to be holding that underneath the chin, going in three, two, and away we go. Down into the squat and then pulse. It's going to burn after doing the wall sit. Whole point of this one now is not to straighten your legs. Just a little pulse. By not straightening the legs, keeping the the tension on them makes it a little bit more difficult on the quads. In 10 seconds, you should feel it all here. And rest. Let's shake out the quads. Like I said, it's not an intense, intense workout like some of the other ones, but it will burn the legs. And we're down into that again. So it's not really a workout to get the heart rate up, more of a strength-based workout. You will feel it in the legs if you haven't done much legs before. I'm not straightening my legs here, a slight bend in the knees. Pulse, two, and rest. Good, last exercise now is our up-down plank. So going from the high to the low. If you're struggling, just hold the plank, two, and away we go, going from high to low. Like I said, if we're struggling, just hold the plank. Five. And rest. But, and this is not, like I said, most intense, intense workout. It's more just a little bit of a burner on the legs. And you can do it for longer if you want. Where we go. After this one, we'll have a 30 second break. 
which will actually be 40 because we have 10 at the end of each exercise and then 30 as recovery interval. So a little bit longer than 30. Focusing on keeping my wrist stacked underneath my shoulder when I'm going up and down. Two. And rest. Good. That's the first part done. Get your drink now if you need it. You're going to have another 35 seconds rest there. We have 35 seconds to rest. Good. Yeah, that should be good. Good, so we're going again for our lunges in 10 seconds. Round number two, I uh, can't stress enough. You're not meant to be coughing up your lungs in this workout, okay? It's more feel it in your legs. So we're going again. It's a nice, short, sharp, 15 minute workout that you're gonna feel it in the legs. And again, you hold this whatever way suits. If you don't have a kettlebell, do a dumbbells, whatever you want, and rest. Good. Going again in five. Two, and away we go. When I'm doing this, I always try and get my knee down to the floor. And when I'm lunging, I'm keeping this knee here in line with my toes, so not going either way. Nice control. And you can do this forward or reverse lunges. Just doing forward because it's probably easier to see on the camera. Two. And rest. Good. We are wall sit next. Lovely. Burn the quads. One in three. Two. And away we go. But we're driving those heels into the floor. Back is flat against the wall. You feel it in the quads now. Another 10 seconds. Five. Two. And rest. Good. It's a fairly quick workout, this as well. It doesn't, not much rest in it. Don't really need much rest, though. So, legs are still feeling it, though. And away we go again. Good. And the wall sit. This whole document, 15 minute workouts, 15 of them, very handy. If you're at home, traveling, anything at all, you only have 15 minutes. It's uh, super simple workouts. A lot of them you can do body weight as well, which is handy to have. Good, so we're going into our pulse squat next. Little burner on the quads after doing the wall sit too. Two, and away we go, down into the squat, and then it's a pulse from there. Keeping that tension on the quads. You're going to feel that all along here. Nobody likes this one. 25 seconds, probably not too bad for it. If you do this for 35, 40, you really start to feel it. Nearly there, another five, I can feel it already. Two, and rest, good. When you straighten the legs, you're taking that tension off. So if you can, try not to straighten them. You feel it properly then, go on a treat. Two, and away we go again. Down into our squat and pulse. Doesn't matter what way you hold the weight as well. If you want to hold it down there, doesn't matter. I just feel more comfortable holding it here. That's why I do it there. There you go. Feel it in my quads. Two, and we're going up down plank now to finish off. So. Last exercise in this one. Going from the high to the low. A little bit of core after burning the legs. So wrists are stacked, going from high down to low, up and down. Feet nice and wide, a little wider than shoulder width. And I'm trying not to let my hips swing too much. They will a little bit, that's normal. And again, you don't want arse up in the air or anything like that. You want to be nice and flat, like a plank. Sucking those ribs in, engaging the core, and you'll feel the benefits of it. Good, that's nearly two rounds done already. One more go. 
spawn in three, two, and away we go. But last 20 seconds of work. And again, I don't have music up loud here, right? because if you're at home, you don't want to listen to me, put on your own music, it might be a bit better than mine. <laughs> Two and rest. Good, that's two rounds done. Five more minutes to go, and we'll be done. And you're into the 30 seconds recovery time. Make sure we're still recording. We are indeed. Oh, do another 15 seconds there. Uh, like I said, 15 workouts, 15 minutes long. Do them anywhere. A lot of them are body weight. Even if five of them are body weight, technically, five are dumbbells, five are kettlebells, but you can mix and match a lot of them on purpose. And away we go. We're lunging last round now. Feel this in my quads. What I would suggest as well, if you do have a bit of extra time, is mix and match the workouts. So you could do this one for 15 minutes another one for 15 minutes and another one for 15 minutes and take two or three minutes break in between each 15 minutes so have it like three long 15 minute rounds and uh, that could be another useful way if you do have a little bit of extra time but if you don't have the extra time what i would say is 15 minutes first thing in the morning great start to your day away we go again and then if you are only starting off Maybe you'll just do the five minutes. It's really up to yourself. Doing something is better than doing nothing. That's what I always say. So everything is relative. But another few seconds. Two. And we're finished off for now. We're going on to the wall sit next. In five. Two. One. And away we go. Good. I'll repeat myself again, but hips are the same height as the knees, my back's flat against the wall, and I'm driving my heels into the floor. You obviously can't see that, but it tightens up the quads. Okay, so if you're on the tippy toes, uh, you're probably not engaging the quads as much, but if you can drive the heels into the floor, it really squeezes the quads. Three, two, one, and shake out the legs. Good. Another wall sit now. In five, three, two, and we are wall sitting again. Another 10 seconds. Another five, starting to burn now. Two, and rest. Good, we're into our pulse squat now twice and then finishing off an up down plank. So after the walls as well, quads a little burning. And away we go. Down into the squat, and then don't come out with that squat. Little pulse. And it's not shaking this, okay? It's bringing the legs up and down. Slight pulse. So it's like the hips going up and down, really. And you'll feel that in the quads then as well. Ooh, three, two and rest i can certainly feel that okay like i said i'm not out of breath really doing this workout it's more lower body hit feeling that in the legs and away we go again down into our squat and then pulse Number five, three, two, and you got Feel that in the quads. Last one now, up, down, plank, and then we're done. 15 minutes. Going in, I'll probably put that there. Three, two, and away we go. Last one. High to low plank. We'll do that twice. Last minute of work, and then you're done. Again, try not to let the hips swing too much. They will a little bit. And stack those wrists 
underneath the shoulders so you don't put too much pressure on your shoulders. Two, and rest. Good, one more. Going in three, two, and away we go. Good, high to low. Again with this, you don't want your bum too high in there. Nice flat back. Tucking those ribs in, hugging them in. Three, two, and we are done. So that is 15 minutes done. Like I said, that's not really out of breath. I'm a little warm, but that's just the weather at the minute. Good weather for once. Um, lunges, wall sit, split squat, or pull squat, up down plank twice each, uh, 25 on, 10 off. 30 second recovery interval after four and a half minute round. Three rounds left, 15 minutes. And look, hopefully enjoy it. And you can use a kettlebell, dumbbell, or just do a body weight. It's completely up to yourself.